Hello, welcome to this video. I'm previous tutor. In this video, we'll be looking at physics, science. This is our division pack. We have a lot of division packs. Please, if you have missed a lot, go back to my videos and search for physics lessons. They are there so that you can learn. So I've picked about three topics, mainly on work done, also on magnetism, um, as well as electromagnetic radiations. So I've picked three questions. So this question is talking about the, the work done and the energy. A person exits a horizontal force of 500 newtons on a box, which also experiences a friction force of 100 newtons. So you can tell from there that, and so let me use another color. So you can tell there's a friction of 100 newtons. There's also a forward force, which is pulling this box the other side, which is 500 newtons. How much work is done against friction? When the box moves a horizontal distance of three meters, there's a distance. Now that work done is force times what? Times distance. In this case, we are, we are talking about the change in force. All right, times what? Distance. Now the distance that you must have, if the force is going in this direction, now these two must be parallel. The distance and the force must be parallel for you to calculate work done. As a result, in this case. We have um, the forward force, which is 500 newtons. We have the friction force, which is 100 newtons. What we need is the resultant force. Resultant force. Because we, we can't use all of them. We need a resultant force. We need the actual force without the friction. So this will be 500 minus 100. That will give us 400 newtons. In, in the case where, take note, this is going in this direction. The other one is going in the direction. That's why we are subtracting. But if the two, for example, were like this, there's a 500 newtons going this direction. Then there's also now another one going in this direction. You, you've seen the arrow? It's pointing in the same direction this one is going. So we are going to have 600. We are going to add the two. But these are going in the opposite direction. So we can't add, hence we have to subtract because it's friction and distance must be in meters. So we have 400 newtons times 3 meters. So what we get here is 0, 0, so that's 112 newton meter. Never be tempted to say newton per meter. I've heard a lot of people have, have been putting this don't. Here you are multiplying newton times m. You, you, you're only going to get an M. When you write it like this, it means we are, are dividing the two. We're going to have this. So never is only like this. N M. Question two says this is a, a, a magnetism usually a motor. Name the part labeled X and the part labeled Y. So. The part labeled X, if you see it, it's this round here thing. So that's an X slip ring. All right, as an X slip ring. Then Y here is a carbon brushes. These carbon brushes they reduce friction as the motor is rotating between the north and the south pole of those two magnets. So as the motor is rotating, these, they provide quick rotation or they reduce the friction uh, between the terminals so that there's, uh, the rotation is only uh, variable. Name three ways in which the generator, so remember we have AC generators and DC generators. AC generators, those are alternating current like this one. Then DC are those direct currents, they don't have two commutators, uh, those slipping. Now three ways in which the generator would do, be made to produce more voltage. How can you make this generator to produce more voltage? The first one is using a coil with more turns. When you use a coil with more turns, for example, this is a turn, and this is another coil. So this coil has got more turns than this. That means more for, for every coil, there's more current flowing for each to reach here. But this one can just come in like that. 
voltage by using a stronger magnet permanent magnets like for uh, steel those they, they they take time to retain their magnetism hence when you when you use a stronger magnet there will be a stronger force driving force hence the the the, the motor is going to produce more uh, more, uh, more voltage winding the coil around a soft iron core why are we using a soft iron core when you use a soft iron core let's see this is iron then we have rounded it with uh, uh, coils so iron has got the ability to, to retain its magnetism quicker than the than steel it also gets easily magnetized so as it gets easily magnetized the more voltage is being produced then rotating you can also rotate the coil fast i can make it move very fast you can produce much uh, voltage the figure below shows some of the components of the electromagnetic spectrum we have gamma ray uh, microwaves you have infrared we have visible we have air here we have x-ray we have also gamma rays what is represented by the component a so a i've put here it is an ultraviolet light so it's radio, microwaves, infrared, visible, right? Then ultraviolet, right? Then light there. Then you have X-ray, then you have gamma rays. State the speed of the foreign components in a vacuum. Now there's something that you have to know. All the electromagnetic radiations or these waves, they move at the same speed, which is three times 10 to the power 8 meters per second which is the speed of light in short so infrared it will move at the same even gamma ray will move at the same all of these they move they are, they are they are going to move at the same speed all electromagnetic waves are transverse that's what uh, uh, another property so these they have they have they have properties such as they move at the same speed three times 10 to the power 8 meters per second they are all transverse waves. What do we mean? This means as this wave is moving in this direction, the vibration of particles is like this. So at each point, they are forming a 90 degree angle. All right. So as the wave is moving like this, the particles are vibrating in a, another direction like that. So at each point, there is a 90 degree angle being formed. The direction of the oscillation is perpendicular. Now, anything that forms a, a right angle, uh, a right angle that means it's perpendicular to the other line so this the waves motion is perpendicular to the direction of the wave give another example of a transverse wave that but which is not an electromagnetic wave water wave waves waves in a loop those are an example of you know, transverse wave. So thank you so much for watching until this tutorial. In case you have questions, you can call me on 0978 07 Also for private lessons. Thank you so much.